The veteran Joey Sly set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins set to go on offense for the first time behind their 25-year-old quarterback. Now it is fourth NFL season to a tongue of Iloa. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. On the ground, the drive starts with Wilson. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 25, here's a second and eight. They run the toss here to Wilson. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Once he broke through that first wave of defenders, there was a pretty big gap there for him to run. And it helps that they were in a dime defense. That's six defensive backs. So this is why a lot of teams now are searching for those linebacker safety combo type guys who can add a little bit more size on the defensive side. There he goes, right side. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 34. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Awesome. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Two are going to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second down, this is Wilson. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. Looking to pass to a He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. After the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken at the goal line. 
And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod from commander's leadership to be the team's starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth-round pick. One start as a rookie and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first-round pick, so there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. First and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 24. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Christian Wilkins there defensively for the stop. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's Hal. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. That's pulled in at the 32. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now Tua. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. From the 43, it's second and three. Off of play action, Tonga Bailoa. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Braxton Berrios, 29 yards. And the Dolphins lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 0 already as they come up first and 10. They start on the ground with Robinson here. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Little bootleg here, Howell. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. And here comes Berrios. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And they will take over first and 10. In motion, Hill. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 43, here's second down and seven. Hill going to go in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Now they need two. Here's third down. They'll try and pick it up on the ground with Wilson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And the Washington offense going back to work. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. They begin the drive with Robinson. 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Powell out of the shotgun, eluding the pressure right, and he takes us up to the forty-yard line before being corralled. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. On first down, Hal. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. Second and ten. Now they go play action with Hal sliding out of the pocket. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Off play action. It's Hal. And he will find his man, Samuel. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good for 28 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Powell. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing here, Howell. This, and oh, he coughed it up, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Gets this to his running back, Jeff Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down, right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine.
Tua sets up to pass it. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Third and four. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. Wilson going to try the right side. He'll get this up to about the 44. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. They'll run again with Wilson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Now it's Crowder. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change yeah, the I'm game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Out to the right here to Wilson. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Mike McDaniel dialing up the risk here a little bit on fourth down. They're going to go for it. They'll try and run for it. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 
It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call? He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Braxton Berrios, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Pal to the air on first and ten. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Duke Riley, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now he'll look to throw it. And his throw here's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On third down, Robinson. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Barrios. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. A quick slant to Hill. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one.
Here's second and seven. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now they'll hand it off to Wilson. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here's Jake Bailey now. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with only nine seconds remaining, and well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. Well, time is of the essence. We breeze through halftime, and we are ready for the second half. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. From his end zone is Byron Pringle. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. First chance for the commander's offense now as they head out for their opening series in the second half. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's a second and five. Back to throw. Howell. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Howell's throw complete there to Thomas. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. 
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, that maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Another throw for Howell. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So a big play there on fourth, and now first and 10 at the 30. Faking the handoff, Howell. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And once more, Hal back to the air. And incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. A give left side to Robinson. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Another modest gain there on that one, and I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner, because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Sly able to put this one through. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half.
Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 20. They'll start the drive with Wilson. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Another carry for Wilson. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Third and two. They'll run with Wilson out of the shotgun. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And he completes it to Barrios. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first down, Tonga Bailoa gets this one to Hill. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Looking to pass, Tua. And his throw is incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Two are going to throw. It's a slant to Hill. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And they won't try and pooch it. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Al now to throw it. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. 
Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Throwing here, Howell. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Don't do us like that. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Robinson up the middle. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Eli Apple up from his corner spot to make the play. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And Howe will throw it. Short throw here to the tight end, Bates. First target, first catch, and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Off play action, it's Howell. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. This offense so far on third down, a pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Powell. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here, he's back to throw. And he is going to have a Washington first down. They didn't get a lot, but they do convert on fourth. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's third and six. Here's Hal. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, 
Oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Powell. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Commanders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and it makes the score 21 to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Dolphins are going to recover. A solid stiff arm. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical from the 34 now here's first and 10. Now a give, running left is Wilson. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 93 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. A give. This is Wilson, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run. Here's Wilson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Wilson. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
They'll try and run with Wilson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Two and now, third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Sanders on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Well, here we go on the next drive for Washington. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for Pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. First down, Hal to throw. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Jalen Phillips picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Now Hal. That's Samuel caught left side. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Landover.